60 years ago, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., along with 10,000 people, participated in the March on Frankfurt, advocating for civil rights. Today, hundreds, including Governor Andy Bashir, commemorated their efforts taking the same path. Wave News reporter Marissa Burke was there and joins us live from Frankfurt. Marissa. John Myra, from the starting point on West Main Street in Frankfurt all the way to the state capitol is more than three quarters of a mile. That is only part of the story of how far Kentucky has come from six decades ago. The historical reenactment of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream lives on 60 years later. On March 5, 1964, Dr. King led civil rights leaders to the Kentucky State Capitol speaking out against segregation and discrimination. In 2024, the March on Frankfurt echoes a similar message under different leadership. It's pretty amazing to walk in the, in the same path as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Jackie Robinson, uh, Maddie Jones, who's up here, and so many others. Um, it's inspiring, and I hope it, it makes a difference. Stops some of this uh, bad legislation, but, but in the end brings us all together a little closer. This year in the Kentucky legislature, lawmakers have proposed anti-diversity, equality, and inclusion bills. So far, the Senate passed Senate Bill 6, which aims to limit DEI in public colleges and universities. House Bill 9 includes prohibiting universities and college from providing any resources to support DEI programs or DEI officers. It has not been assigned to committee. The same fight in 1964 continued on Tuesday. Many people participating in the 2024 March on Frankfurt say they are advocating for a brighter and inclusive future for generations to come. My name is Ari, and, I'm, uh, and I've never been a part of a march, just like my first time. Ari was one of many young people marching to the state capitol. Maddie Jones, who marched on Frankfurt in 1964, talked about the struggles she overcame for kids like Ari. The 1964 March on Frankfurt led to the passing of the Kentucky Civil Rights Act of 1966, making Kentucky the first state in the South to pass such legislation. What do we want? My brothers and sisters, we suffered and we moved some of these barriers. Colored bathrooms, colored drinking fountains, colored places in the hospital where we had to sit. And we got comfortable. We got to unseat ourselves if we're going to save our children. Governor Andy Bashir says that in his speech, he is ready to veto any discriminatory bills coming out of this legislative session. In Frankfurt, Marissa Burke, Wave News.